गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर नाउन्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू डू दिस एक्सरसाइज लुक एट दिस पिक्चर ऑफ ए कैफे लुक एट दिस पिक्चर ऑफ ए कैफे राइट डाउन ऑल द नाउन्स दैट यू सी एन स्टेट वेदर दे आर काउंटेबल और अनकाउंटेबल जस्ट ऑब्जर्व दिस पिक्चर वट यू सी इन दिस पिक्चर राइट दिस पिक्चर and uh, note down uh, what you see like bread right bread trees cafe like this so you have to write uh, all the uh, names what you see in this picture and categorize whether they are countable or uncountable noun like bread bread is uncountable noun cafe cafe is countable noun right in this way you have to do this exercise let's move to next uh, how many noun did you find how many noun uh, did you find compare your list uh, what uh, with uh, that of your partner and check uh, if you both noted down the same nouns okay means uh, you have to uh, make a list of countable noun and uncountable noun from this picture okay next definition of noun noun uh, is a word that indicate the name of person place a uh, things or an idea this is the definition of noun uh, it is very common okay uh, next uh, two types of noun right these are two main types of noun first one is proper noun second one is common noun proper noun what is proper noun proper noun are words that refer to particular names of people place things right and it always begin with capital letter okay for example jupiter is uh, the jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system jupiter jupiter is name of one particular planet right so this is proper noun come uh, move to the next common noun common noun are the word that refer to persons or things of a same kind or general category these are also the name of some person place things but these are in general right like the students listened attentively while the teacher explained the problem so student it it is common name teacher i am not talking about the particular teacher so it is common name problem it is also common problem so these are common noun okay move to the next in this uh, table you can observe so in left side there is some common name and right side some are proper name like river river is common name godavari is your proper name mountain is your common name and himalayas is your proper name like that okay move to exercise a part underline uh, the noun in the flowing passage write p for proper noun and c for common noun what are proper noun and what are common noun right so you have to take your notebook and note down the proper noun and common noun just doing underline okay so let's start many kings ruled ancient india over the ages right so king king uh, is your common noun so you have to write here c right india india is name of one particular country so it is your proper noun so you have to write p right Uh, like that amongst the greatest of them as emperor asoka emperor is your common name right asoka is particular name so it is proper noun in this way you have to do this exercise okay move to the next countable and uncountable noun what is countable noun countable noun are the name of thing that can be counted they can be singular or plural these are both it can be singular or plural easily we can count 1 2 3 like that okay for example in our class there are 20 boys and girls 20 boys and girls boys and girls we can easily count so these are countable 
noun uncountable noun the name of thing that we cannot count it they do not have singular or plural form like i have curd every day in summer curd curd is not able to count you can measure it right please add more sugar sugar also not able to count coffee also not able to count so these are uncountable noun clear move to next uh next okay b part b part what you have to do just read out the question read uh, the sentences and write whether the nouns given in italic are countable or uncountable noun so what you have to do you have to choose whether these are countable or uncountable noun some of uh italic words like italic word cheese uh, how much cheese do you need cheese cheese here cheese is italic word cheese is uh, uh, countable or uncountable so cheese is very clear it is uncountable noun it is you next one is uh, minu ha uh, has friend how many friends so friends it is plural so it is countable noun we can count we have one friend two friend three friend like that i like strawberry milkshake milkshake is uncountable noun so like that you have to do this exercise next one is concrete and abstract noun concrete noun refer to thing that we can touch or see they cannot be counted and countable right okay concrete and abstract noun concrete refer the thing that we can touch or see very easily we can see like box right box bag bottles these are able to touch see or count okay next one is abstract noun refer uh, to things which we cannot see or touch but only feel that include feelings expression states qualities and ideas like love we can feel love hat pride right this type of feelings expression state ideas and qualities are abstract noun the thing that we cannot see but we can feel right so move to next collective noun one of the important kind of noun what is collective noun collective noun uh, are noun that refer to a group of people or thing here we can uh, we have means a group of people or things not single group like uh, the committee arrive at the decision together committee group of people can make a committee so committee is your collective noun right the class maintained complete silence while the principal was in the room class class and it's a single person and a single student can't make a class so class right group of student so this is collective noun move to exercise c part fill in the blank with correct options what you have to do you have to choose one of uh, the answer from the above and fill the gaps like a dash of types so gang of types here your answer is gang of types right first one okay gang of types g a n g gang okay next one a dash of geese a group of geese so answer is your here it is second one gaggle of geese next one a dash of clothes a dash of clothes here it is bund bundle bundle of clothes third one answer in this way you have to feel right move to the next identify uh, the noun in the flowing sentences then write if they are proper for p common for c collective for co and abstract for a so first one hard work never goes waste hard work so work work is your which noun it is abstract noun okay abstract no down a like this second one there is no shortcut to success shortcut is your 
which noun common noun so no down c success is your which noun abstract noun really it is abstract noun okay in this way you have to complete the exercise next one is material noun material noun what is material noun material noun refer uh, to a material or substance used to make things the things uh, that we can use uh, to making something that are known as material noun like paper paper is making for books newspaper notebooks like that glass glass is making for windows right mirror like that so these are material noun move to the next underline the material noun in this flowing sentences what are material noun it is very easy gold is good conductor of heat gold gold is making ornaments so gold is your material noun next one jute is one of the cheapest natural fiber jute is making for bags like that so jute and fiber these are your material noun Come, move to the next compound noun what is compound noun compound uh, compound nouns are uh, nouns that are formed by combining two or more words right when we uh, join to uh, uh, the two sentences uh, not two sentences two words and making one words uh, then it is compound noun for example you can see here uh, tooth and brush so it is toothbrush greenhouse green and house it is greenhouse so greenhouse toothbrush haircut take off these are your compound noun move to the next write uh, the plural form of the flowing compound noun you have to write the plural form of this compound noun first one is what is first one first one is passer by passer by what is the plural of passer by like passers by p a double s e r s passers by okay this is first one second one what is second one second one is lady bird so you have to write lady birds lady birds right okay like this you have to complete this exercise like this move to the next g part g part what you have to do choose the correct noun to complete the sentences okay let's start first one they are buying desk furniture or furnitures for their new house so furniture is always plural it is furniture not as okay next one is uh, the railway truck uh, sorry the railway track is used for dash goods or good train so goods is always correct answer right it has not a singular form next i have no further uh, dash information or information regarding the arrival so it is always information okay you have to do uh, the exercise like this way next one is do, uh, don't forget you have there is some notes you can revise okay let's us revise let us revise what you have to do here use the noun to write a paragraph uh, with the given beginning you can also add noun of your own uh, some of the nouns are uh, given there in this box and you have to write any story or paragraph by using this okay so i hope everyone understood the chapter if there is any confusion regarding this you can text me or call me right okay i hope everyone understood so thank you